Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for, well, it's a random reading, so timing's on you. If this reading is for you, what do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Oh, we got one. Ooh, carrot, opportunity or windfall. So we do have a new opportunity or a windfall coming your way, coming up. It's coming up. What do we have for Capricorn? Let's get one more. Oh, two more. Unsettled times, need to plan ahead. And spear, heartache over what you no longer have. So you may be in a period of heartache. You may be feeling unsettled. But there is something coming. There's something coming that may make you feel a little bit better. Um, there is an opportunity that is about to pop up. I think it's been planted, right? It was it was planted a long time ago. You're, it's about to come to fruition. Um, you need to make plans, okay? If you're unsettled, you're disorganized, you know, you're lacking structure in your life, you need to make plans, you know, make a list, whatever. I feel like you need to uh, be prepared. Get yourself prepared. Get yourself organized now because something is coming. Anyhow, what do we have for Capricorn? Oh, okay. The end. So we got one story that is ending. A chapter of your life is ending. Whatever that chapter is, whatever this is, this is a, this is like the end of a story, right? It's the end of a, it's like the end of the movie. It's the end. Something is coming to an end. This is the end. The end is the end, right? Some people are like, oh, the end, the end. Something is coming to an end. Let's get one of these. Maybe it's the unsettled times. There's somebody here that has been hurt really, really bad, stabbed right in the heart. Maybe that's what's coming to an end. You know, the, maybe something, obviously something good is coming. Anyhow, what do we have for Capricorn? Emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries. Doesn't have to be. Could be a father figure. Could be a boss, leader, judge, ruler. This is about getting structured. This is about getting organized. So that's interesting. That is very interesting. So you need to get, you really need to get ready. Get yourself prepared because there's something coming. Could have something to do, like I said, with an Aries, but it doesn't have to be. Um, Emperor takes charge. This is a ruler, judge, boss. Um, bossing up. All about stability. Really, really focused. I think that you're going to be really focused. Or there's somebody around you that is very focused. This is somebody that is taking charge. Whether this is the judge or the boss or the ruler, this is making a decision a firm decision, a definite decision that is best for everybody involved. So somebody's making a decision and it's going to affect you. Whether you're making the decision or the, or the somebody that is in a position of authority is making a decision, there's some sort of decision about stability and structure that is that is being made. Some of you could be getting, I don't know, could be a windfall. You know, this could be money. It could be a raise. What do we have? What do we have for Capricorn? Oh, we got two. We got the Hierophant and the Five of Coins. Now, the Hierophant is a teacher, right? It's a teacher. This is or a counselor or somebody that you look up to could be, be a mentor. This could also be uh, well, some sort of divine guidance. Are we dealing with a Taurus? We have Aries. Now we have the Five of Coins. The Five of Coins is typically lack. It's lack. And it's interesting that we have opportunity or windfall. Here we have somebody here that is winning as well. Might be a good time to play the lottery, just saying. Um, there's somebody in, on the outside, though. We have some people that are left out in the cold. These people are out there. We have somebody here that is, is receiving. But it's really not enough. It's really not enough. Somebody's not getting enough. 
Anyhow, the Hierophant is the highest authority. It is because this is a direct connection to God. It's even higher than the Emperor because it's a direct somebody that has a direct connection to God. Now, listening to the gut, listening, learning some sort of lesson. Somebody is learning a lesson. There is a high authority here. And there's a higher power that sees all. So there's, a, there's definitely a high authority here that is taking charge. Now, there's something to do with a father figure as well. Anyhow, there's been some sort of lack, but you are about to be given... There's, I feel like there's a blessing here. I think I feel like this is like a godly energy. Somebody, maybe they've learned their lesson. They're ready. The end of some sort of lack. There's the end of some sort of lack. You're about to receive some sort of blessing. You may not see it as a blessing. But that Hierophant, the Hierophant is a direct connection to God. you got to believe, have faith, have faith. You are going to be receiving something. Um... Something about commitment as well. The Hierophant is all about commitment. The end of lack. There's been some sort of lack. You are about, there's, you're about to see something happen. Get prepared. Get yourself ready. There is some sort of grieving over what you no longer had, but the Hierophant is kind of like a protector. So isn't the Emperor. The Emperor, both of those cards are protection and energies. There's something happy because see the smile. I think that you're going to be really happy. I feel like you're about to receive something. I don't know if you've been out in the cold and, and now you're about to receive. You are about to receive something. A lesson has been learned. Listen to your gut. Believe in yourself. Something is definitely happening. There is a higher power here that is guiding. There's some sort of guidance or protection from above. And there's a masculine energy here. You may be receiving a gift or receiving something. There's some an interesting five of I said the end of lack. The end of lack. If you've been lacking, this is a turning point. This is definitely a turning point. Things are about to get better in some way. Could be financially. Could be in another way. It looks like it's financial lack. There's been some sort of ruin. There's been maybe so maybe outcast. Higher power sees all. Four of Cups seizing a new opportunity. There is somebody here that is going to be taking an opportunity that they didn't want in the past or they didn't accept in the past. I feel like we have somebody here that may have rejected. They may have rejected an opportunity. Now they're now they're about ready to take charge. Anyhow, Four of Cups reverse is seizing an opportunity that was missed, ignored, or not wanted. Five of Pentacles reversed is the end of lack, right? The end of not seeing something. You're going to be, this is a very powerful energy, a position of power. Ooh, some of you, justice reverse is unfair, right? Justice reverse is unfair treatment. It's imbalance. It's. Maybe there's the end of a contract here or the end of... There, maybe there's some of you have been dealing with some legal issues. That could be coming to an end. I feel like we have, we have somebody here that has not been telling the truth. They haven't been acting with integrity. They may have been lying to themselves. Maybe even refusing to get help. Or to accept help. Maybe somebody wasn't listening to their gut or they weren't believing in themselves or something like that. There's definitely an imbalance here. There's some sort of uh, indecision as well. I feel like we have somebody here who's been indecisive about... Um, what option to choose... An offer or an invite is coming. Now, this offer or invite that is coming is coming from somebody that is taking charge. This is a boss, ruler, judge. Could be a teacher. Um, could be a mentor. 
a counselor, I may have already said that, a doctor even, uh, somebody that is in a position is probably going to, a high position, is, is giving you an exciting opportunity to go in a new direction. I mean, the Page of Wands is an offer or an invite. This is an exciting new direction. This, for some of you, could even be a new suitor, somebody that you are more aligned with. You may be in a contract now where you are not getting anything. You're not getting what you deserve or you've been left out in the cold. You've been ghosted. You've been, you or you've been just not, and maybe this isn't the pay that you deserve. Or there's just been some sort of dishonesty or lack of integrity or something like that. Things are about to change. I do believe they're going to change for the better because we have a win here. And then we have an opportunity or windfall. We do have a contract that is coming to an end. You may have been treated unfairly or there's been an injustice here. Maybe there was some legal issues, you know, or legal flaws. Or somebody was in a contract that they were struggling. Any five is a power struggle. They were struggling to break free from. Whatever this contract is could even be a karmic contract. Either way, this is unfair. It's unfair. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. This is seizing a new opportunity that was missed or ignored in the past. There's some sort of divine guidance. A new opportunity, a new offer or invite is coming. Could be from a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Taurus, Aries. Ace of Swords is communication, it's truth. There's been, Somebody hasn't been telling the truth or they, maybe they've even been lying to themselves. Either way, there's been a lack of integrity and imbalance. There's dishonesty, but we go from that to the truth. So there's some sort of truth. Higher power sees the truth, so the higher power does see the truth. This is clarity. So you're going to be receiving some communication or an offer or an invite from somebody who is definitely ready to take charge. This is battle ready. So somebody is ready. They're ready. They're ready to for a realignment. They're ready to uh, maybe even... Well, definitely go in a new direction. Somebody is ready to go. In, they're ready to receive. They're ready to get help. They're, they need help. There's somebody here that needs help and they're about to receive help. Anyhow, the Ace of Swords is the truth. It is the sort of power. It's the sort of truth. It's taking a new approach. Somebody is about to take a new approach. There's going to be communication. I think it's direct. It's very direct. We have a strong, strong uh, minded, a strong minded. And maybe this person is pretty spiritual as well. I feel like maybe they've received some messages from their intuition or somebody that they look up to. You know, this could be a mentor or a counselor or a father figure or somebody that they look up to that is telling them to go in this new, new direction. Go. You know, that page of wands is this is an exciting opportunity to step into new territory fearlessly. So interesting. Oh, the tower. So the tower is disruption, right? It's a necessary evil. It's a loss. It's a loss. It is. The tower is it, a major shake up. It's where something falls apart. Okay. It just happens. It just happens. It comes out of nowhere. It forces. This is forced change. So something is happening. I feel like we have something that is happening that is very, it's going to be a complete shock. It's going to be a complete surprise, but it's very exciting. It's a fresh start. This is a fresh start. So something very shocking is about, you're about to be surprised, put it that way. Now this, this tower right here, it's like all of a sudden somebody is forced, maybe they're forced out of a situation or they're forced, well that's usually what the tower is. It's where the universe comes in and forces somebody to face the truth, to face a change. So there is something happening that is very disruptive, okay? This is going to change your life. It's going to change your circumstances. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, for sure. This is like a 
crack upside the head that somebody's gotten some sort of awakening this is a, a wake-up call this is like oh my god this is quite a shock going in a new direction very spontaneous very something is happening very suddenly it's going to make you smile even though it's disruptive it's life-changing put it that way this is life-changing All of a sudden, sudden, all of a sudden, there's some sort of truth that is coming out. We have somebody here that is in, whether this is the boss, the judge, the ruler, this person sees it very, 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 very clearly. Something is being seen very clearly. King of Wands reversed, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody that is unreasonable, entitled, self-centered, abuses their power. Something's going to be seen. Something is going to be made very, very clear. Maybe we have somebody here that didn't have confidence. Maybe they were being unreasonable. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they were lacking uh, self esteem or they gave their power away to somebody else. King of Wands reversed. Not taking any action. We have somebody here that has probably been letting fear get in the way. Or they haven't found their willpower or their discipline to follow through with some sort of plan. You know, or they've, they've given their power away. But the universe is going to cause a disruption that forces them to take action. Somebody's going to be forced. They're going to be forced to go in a new direction. There could also be an angry outburst, just so you know. I don't know how that resonates with you, but this could definitely be an outburst. Somebody may have an angry outburst that, you know, causes so much disruption that they're forced to move on. I mean, this is universal force. This is a false sense of security that is crumbling. It crumbles extremely fast. I feel like we have somebody here that's been trying to keep up a foundation that is very unstable, okay? And they've been lacking, and now it's over. This is huge, right? Now that unstable foundation crashes, it crumbles, and they come out of the lack because they're forced to start over. And when they're forced to start over, it's all part of the plan. It's all part of the higher plan. That's when they receive the opportunity or windfall that they were meant to have so it's interesting oh there we go seven of swords now the seven of swords is lies somebody's definitely been lying they have they've definitely but the higher power sees all somebody's lies are being exposed this is maximum exposure okay somebody's lies are being exposed And they're going to be put out. It's like they're being put out in the cold. They're being put out in the cold. And I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody's lies, deception is being exposed. Maybe it's even cheating. I'm not sure. But the Ace of Swords is the truth. It is a revelation. It's a realization. Some sort of truth, lies are being exposed. Okay, so some sort of truth is coming out. And it changes your foundation. It changes everything. It may change your living circumstances. Somebody's about to go down a new path. And this path is probably very exciting. Um, but it's not, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's not going to be easy with that tower. It's not going to be easy. It's like you're forced, forced to go down this path. A decision is being made. Um... higher power sees somebody's lies they see somebody's deception and there's going to be a shake up there is definitely going to be a shake up somebody's losing they're losing and we got somebody that one somebody's losing and somebody that's winning i mean that's justice um there's been some sort of lies deception that have been hidden but it's going to be seen very very clearly somehow you're involved there is somebody here that is probably ruthless. 
This person may be very um, entitled. You know, they're lying about something. They're lying about their security. They're lying about their stability. They may be lying about, and they're laughing about it. God don't like that shit. When you laugh at that God does not like that when people laugh at other people's pain or they laugh at other people's lack God does not like that it's like when even when they put all those laughing emojis you know at the end I mean I'm telling you what that's it's not okay falseness there's faults there's falseness here somebody is is very false there's a, there they are they lie a lot. There's somebody here that lies a lot. They lie about what they have. Or they lie about their stability. They may be getting caught. Because this is a rude awakening. There is definitely lies. Truth coming out. Higher power is revealing it. Exposing it. Lies are going to be exposed. And a decision is going to be made. Based on the facts. Based on the. And, and I feel like. I mean it's almost like. What did I just hear? Oh God. Oh God. It's like when you go to court and you lie. And uh, you get caught in the lie. And there's like a charge that comes with that. What the hell is that? Uh, God. Perjury? Yeah, something like that. I don't know where that came from. It just did. Um, but higher power doesn't have to be court related. It's like the higher power sees all. Interesting. Anyhow, a decision is about to be made. Um, somebody's lies are being exposed. A story is coming to an end. There could be legalities that are coming to an end. Either way, there's a lack that is coming to an end. We do have an opportunity or windfall here that is coming your way. As this truth comes out, you're going to be ex very shocked. You're going to be receiving some direct communication from somebody that is in a position of authority. This could be a boss or, you know, a leader or somebody that, you know, business owner or, you know, I don't know. You're going to be receiving some direct communication from somebody that completely shocks you. This person may want you to teach something or they, you may level up. You may get some sort of new position. Um, There is somebody here that lacks self-esteem as well. They lack self-esteem. They lack self-confidence. This person may be going through a spiritual awakening. This person may have been unreasonable or they may have been uh, fearful or they may have been uh, lacking that confidence to get out of a situation to escape a situation you know they maybe they didn't couldn't find their own inner power their own inner strength i feel like we have somebody here that's about to take a new approach put it that way and somehow you are directly affected good luck